<laughs> All right, so we have an Amazon box. It appears to be board game sized. That's my guess. I don't even know if there'll be a note in here or what. Cut away from yourself. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. I should probably uh, switch it so that I could see the Twitch here. There we go. You can see some of it at least. Oh, sweet. I hope there's a note or something in here. What is it? It says a gift for you. Here's the important part. <laughs> Happy birthday and heal up, my friend. Best Joe Swick. Joe, you are amazing. That is fantastic. Wow. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, look, there we go. Stained glass and Sintra. I tried to get that for birthday. It was sold out everywhere here. Oh, wow. That is super awesome. Wow. wow. Joe, Joe. Joe, thank, thank you. Joe. I don't know if you guys remember, a couple episodes ago, I talked about how I've been going on about Azul. And then Joe joined in on the Facebook chat and was like yeah i got it for christmas or was it christmas i don't know i got he got it it might have been for christmas and he was like oh this is fantastic this game's amazing i love it and i'm like cool i'm glad you liked it it seems like everyone likes it but i'm always worried when someone buys something on my recommendation that they may not like it and then i shared a picture of a uh, game of anchi game anchi games i played of azul and joe's like whoa wait a minute what the heck and then a couple minutes later he's like oh I bought the wrong game. I bought Stained Glass of Sintra. Mine doesn't look anything Mine like doesn't yours. look anything like that. I'm like, oh, wow. And we were kind of joking about it. And then Joe Roby, he's like, so you don't have Stained Glass of Sintra, do you? And I'm like, no. And I figured he was just chatting, talking. Oh, I noticed Sean up the number. Nice. That's what I'm giggling about. <laughs> nice. So, yes, thank you very much, Joe. Uh, I know you're a patron of the show. I hope you hear this in the after show. I'll thank him personally as well. That's pretty awesome. I could unbox it, keep opening it. People want to see what's inside? Might as well. Let's uh, let's go with it. We got a highlight. We All can right, clip let's later. go with it. This probably won't. We, yeah, maybe we can clip it later. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. All right. We now became an unboxing video. If you play it, I can drop the shame pile back down again. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We'll sit and play it right now. You need a table. Yeah, I think you need a table. Yeah, you need a table. To do that on your uh, desk. That Again, I'm trying to find somewhere I can hold this so that people can kind of see it. No, I'm just trying to hold it up. That's, so. that's high enough, yeah. That's, that's the lowest it can be. All right, box lid. Instructions. Stuff to punch. Here, let's show off rulebook. Oh, it's one of this type. Rulebook. I don't know. I don't want to tip that's this too much. I'll take it. We got looking boards. I have no idea. I know I know very little about this game except the fact that it's from the same person who made the Azul and supposedly just as good. Oh yeah, this is a nice looking piece. Ooh, pretty. Looks like it makes a square. Pretty Oh yeah, glass. definitely. It definitely makes a square. I have no idea what that's for in the game, but cool. Now I'll never get back in the box. No. Oh, these are obviously in player colors. So these are some type of player boards. Market tiles, and something I know that they did in this game that I think is amazing, much better than the original as well. Check this out: four vision impaired players with color blindness. Nice. So you put the tiles in the appropriate spot. Very cool. Okay, highly winding scoreboard. That's very thin, oddly, because all the rest of the components are really nice. Very thin scoreboard, two-sided, for no reason that I can tell. They look the same on both sides, as far as I can tell. <laughs> uh, then whatever these things are. Again, these are in player colors, so this must be another part of the player board. It looks like maybe you can mix up what row things go in. And more. Again, we're going to go all the player colors here. Two-sided. Actually, different on each side. That's worth noting. Different here than here. And yellow. <laughs> I'm amused by the first player tile. Uh, we can see <laughs> in there. Holding that up for a second. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So first player tile. That looks familiar. 
Uh, people, little dudes. Okay, now I'm going to put this down. <laughs> I don't know which color is going to stand out the best, but little people. Oh, they're cute. Yeah. Plastic. Cubes. Again, in player colors. The ever-popular bag. Nice and purple this time. So I got to admit, I'm going to be tempted to put this in the other game so that as you use the tiles, you just put them in the new bag. Oh, wow, my camera's turning that blue. It's very purpley pink. <laughs> very purpley pink. I don't know if I put it against my black shirt. If you can I, tell, it's it, it reads pink. as purple to me, I think. Okay, but it's it's more pink than yeah. purple. Okay. It's like a fuchsia. It's like a it's fuchsia. I, I only, I only like, color. And now I have fruit because your skin tone I thought looked more there. blue. This is against white. Maybe that'll help. I, I do color correct for uh, for YouTube uploads, so people will be nah, able to see. see even that there. white paper looks blue. Yeah. Well, yeah. your your color your camera is often color balanced wrong. That's. Yeah, <laughs> you know I should have done that right at the start of the show. I probably could have fixed oh, it. There you go. Now you look more. That's more like the real color. Hey, I guess we got it. <laughs> All right, then of course we have these. Oh, I can see why they did the colorblind thing. These don't have patterns on them, unlike Azul. Hmm. They look like halls. They like do. They really look like that is, halls. That is not small child friendly at all. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a pattern on them. I don't know if you can see it at all. It's like a snowflake pattern. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. could backlight one. That'd probably no, help no, we too. Saw, we did see, we could see you it. You can see it? Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, that they I feel mean, nice, but I, I, yeah, I, it's a hole. That is, that is definitely not something you want around small. So kids. we have red, we have blue, we have clear. Oh, you can really see the, the pattern. Different on the different no, the patterns aren't different either. Huh. That's just a weird choice because Azul was already colorblind friendly because yeah. of the patterns on them. So yeah, you should be able to see this a little better. Uh, raise it up a little bit. There you go. There it is. Yep. Yep. Good. Just had to find that right uh, camera focus spot. <laughs> uh, then we have red and yellow. And that is it. Well, that's a nice touch. Shows you where to put everything in the box. I don't know if you can see it. It's etched in. Well, not etched, but inset. It actually shows you what component goes where. That's oh, nice. kind of cool. I'm going to try it. Yeah, I can tell you. Can't, you can see the word Azul. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, you can see on the bottom there. Yep. I'm trying to get the right angle here. There it is. Yep. Let's see it. That's a nice touch. Just these go here. These go here. Eight of those go here. Nice. Much nicer insert than Dinosaur Island. <laughs> That's not hard. Yeah, I was really disappointed with that aspect of that game. Man, that was hard to talk about because I played it again. We played Monday. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, I kind of want to say more about it. But at this point, when I wrote this and the week in review isn't quite at the same time, we haven't technically played it yet, though we have. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that game. All right, very cool. This will get played quick. I have a feeling we'll be talking about this uh, like we'll go next Wednesday. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stream it. No, that takes too much moving of tech. And you got to bring your dad some You left the bag. Oh, I left the bag you. So, again, thank you, Joe. That is fantastic. Absolutely. I will have to get a hold of him. Heck, I could text him on Facebook right now. 